In this code.org lesson, we're going to be using Sprite Lab to make an about me program, which is about us. It's fun. It's code. Let's go. This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Free play. Ricky is using Sprite Lab to create an interactive poster about herself. Ricky has given you permission to check her post out. Okay, so let's see. Oh, moves. Can I click on stuff? Ooh. Oh, that's kind of fun. And we can look at the code here, and she's creating multiple sprites. They respond to different things. Oh, you can print stuff. Okay, when we click on different ones, if this person touches them. Oh, that's super neat. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Ricky here. I'll, I'll help you make a cool poster. First, click on Costumes tab. Okay, so I'm going to click on the Costumes tab and add one that I like. Ooh, they have new ones. I definitely want the Badger, so code. All right, edit the costume. Okay, yep. Click Run. Cool. Onward. Say something about yourself and make sure it's safe. Yep. So use when click and print. Okay. So events, when click. Now when click the blank thing. Nah. When click the, my badger. And then I need to print. Print. And then it needs to be okay to be public. So my fav favorite color is green we'll say boom how about an exclamation point first name examples of safe first first name favorite thing unsa yep okay so let's hit run win click huh cool onward add more sprites to your poster don't forget to give them costumes add at least two other sprites to the poster give each of your sprites a unique costume awesome two other definitely going to be that and then <gasps> What are these? Ooh, ooh, uh, that dude, thank you. And then I'm gonna add these, so I'll just move this one, click over, and then make a new, and make a new, and boop, and boop. Now, to position them, I can click here, and you can just drag them around. It's kinda handy. Boom. Okay, cool, let's see. But da uh, onward. Tell the world more about yourself. Make your other sprites print information when they're clicked. Be sure that you share safe items. Okay, so when clicked, and then let's do more of that. Events, when clicked, events, when clicked, and then world print, and world print. Okay, let's pick my other sprite. So when you click that one, I'm going to say my favorite number is 13, which it is. And then when you click on the other guy, I'll say, my favorite food is pizza. Boom. Let's see. So now when I click on any of these, what happens? The computer says, uh, smack. Oh, I clicked on this and I have to do this. So it runs print. When I click on that, each one of these are going to run once it's done. Automatically, my characters appear on the screen because whenever I click run, they'll appear no matter what. Keep going. Here are a few ideas. Add a background. Choose a background that fits your poster. Add behaviors. Okay, let's see if we can do world set set background to city. Sure. React differently when clicked. So action. We already have when clicked. So let's say uh, also I'm going to have this when clicked. My badger is going to start to grow. Add more events. Ooh, I'm going to do a when up is pressed. And what will I do? I'll change the city background to grass. Cool. Hmm, did I just see a mistake? Oh, stops. I need that to be starts. I do that all the time. <laughs> cool. Onward. 